We live in one of the most beautiful places on earth, and yet people continue to leave garbage right on our beaches. Using them as a personal dumping ground. A danger for sure. That's a pile of shattered glass. A big pile. Video was taken on Tuesday during a beach cleanup along the Ka'ivi coastline. 808 Cleanups visits the site on a weekly basis. It even does patrols at night, educating people about the impacts of broken glass on the beach, also illegal bonfires. But does anyone ever get caught? And is there a problem with enforcement? Alex Serbal pressed officials for answers. Alex. Aloha. I reached out to the Department of Land and Natural Resources to ask about citations. They told me officers conduct evening spot checks at the Ka'ivi area as part of their patrols. But they haven't given me information yet on how many citations have been issued this year or in the past. This video got our attention. Volunteers cleaning up pounds of shattered glass on the beach. On Tuesday, volunteers picked up 113 pounds of nails, broken glass, bonfire debris, 500 pounds of debris, and 153 pounds of auto glass from two sites on the Ka'ivi coastline. Out here at Ka'ivi coastline at night. Michael Lofton, co-founder of 808 Cleanups, told me he's been patrolling at night for almost a year now in an effort to educate people to help keep the coastline clean. What do you think is the solution to stopping all this debris ending up on the beach? There definitely needs to be more eyes out there because um, it's a very unmonitored spot in many ways. And what we're doing on our end is going out at night in groups and talking to people, but there definitely needs to be an enforcement side as well. Lofton told me they are noticing a drop in pallet bonfires, but they still see a lot of yeah. nails in the sand. Just a few seconds, that's what you get. Imagine stepping yeah. on that. Look, it's on fire again. A dangerous situation for cleanup volunteers who have found coal still smoldering the day after. We're right here by Sandy's. This is an area where the illegal dumping and illegal bonfires are happening. We wanted to know more about the enforcement, how often it's actually happening, and how often people are getting cited. I showed the video of broken glass and debris to Representative Gene Ward, who represents the Hawaii Kai Kalama Valley area. Two solutions, though, I think are there. One is education, the other is enforcement. So would you like to see, you know, agencies like DLNR step up and do, do more enforcement? Do you believe they're not doing enough? This group seems to be cleaning up constantly and constantly in areas just like this one. Uh, I would say DLNR does what it has with the resources it has, but we have not given them the resources that they need. We're trying to fill in the gaps on what's getting missed. DLNR told me that in April they responded to a citizen complaint about pallets being dumped and they removed them. They say an officer must witness a violation in order to issue a citation. Fines for littering can be $100 for a first offense. Alex Serbal, K2N2 News.